So I've been reading the Bungie.net forums lately, and people have been arguing whether Juggernaut or Shoulder Charge is superior. Now most people lean towards Juggernaut now, but what people forget, I'll slow it down for you, is that Shoulder Charge is a mobility tool. I slide, no scope, and Shoulder Charge in the cover, giving my opponent no time to react, and I'm safe in cover, so it can't shoot me anyway. Hold on there, don't click out of the video yet, I'm sure you're wondering how this trivial Shoulder Charge technique can improve your game. If you're still not sold on this as a viable option, take a look at the opponent's perspective. Try to imagine that you're playing Trials of Osiris, some asshole slides around the corner like this, snipes, and then shoulder charges away. Yeah, that's pretty scary, isn't it? Now don't be turned away from this video if you're not an ace sniper. You can still use a quick charge fusion rifle or a shotgun. I'll get to that later though. First things first, I'm going to teach you how to tighten. So you want to put control jump on, not increased height, increase control. You also want to put on shoulder charge. Basically, control jump lets you move very, very fast by repeatedly tapping the jump button. Right now, I'm showing you the duration of shoulder charge. So that's your window of opportunity. You have about five seconds before you tap the right bumper to shoulder charge. As for shoulder charging, you have two options. You can shoulder charge on the ground or shoulder charge in the air. If you choose the ground, keep in mind that you're going to be sprint locked for a quarter of a second. That's not too bad, but in the midst of combat, that's pretty hectic. So now that you got the basic gist of shoulder charging, now we're going to learn how to Titan Skate. So you run, jump, and triple tap the jump button. That'll let you move very quickly. You bounce off surfaces, you get more speed as you land, you triple tap the jump button again. Now you know how to Titan Skate. It's that simple. Here's where things get interesting though. So remember how I said you can shoulder charge from the air? Well, shoulder charge from the air and then triple tap the jump button about a quarter second later. It'll propel you forward at very fast speeds. And you can chain that with more shoulder charges and more control burst. If you mastered all this by now, you just graduated Titan High School. Now let's go to Titan College and learn some advanced techniques. That's a pretty bad analogy, so stay with me. What you want to do is run against a rock, a wall, a flat surface, and charge your shoulder charge. What this accomplishes is it lets you prime a shoulder charge for an unsuspecting guardian around the corner. You get a shoulder charge without actually traveling any distance. You can also do this into Titan skating to get some more momentum from nothing. For some reason, this far into Destiny's life cycle, people still think the Hunter is the fastest class. I assure you, it's the Titan. Now what you see me just do there is put on the Twilight Garrison exotic chest piece. It lets you do an air dodge by double tapping the crouch button. A technique most of you already know is that you can jump, dodge, and then start skating at full speed. So you can be at a standstill and somehow achieve maximum speed on the Titan. For an exotic chest piece, that's pretty good. The momentum you get from an air dodge is pretty much equivalent to the momentum you get from a shoulder charge. So don't feel like you have to use the Twilight Garrison. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying there's other options for a Titan. Now we're at the important part. So what you're going to see me do is run, slide, shoot, and then shoulder charge. The only problem with that is it leaves you exposed for about a quarter second while you recover from the shoulder charge. With Twilight Garrison, you can just simply hop and then air dodge and get back at maximum speed. So why would anyone want to shoot while shoulder charging? Well, one reason I can think of is high armor opponents. If someone's wearing a ram or if they max out their armor stat, a shoulder charge won't necessarily kill them every time, unless you have peregrine greaves or if you do what I just said, slide, shoot, shoulder. It's worth mentioning that you can slide, shoot, shoulder with a shotgun. And a perk to look out for is close and or personal. It increases melee damage, including shoulder charge, by 25%, which amounts to you basically killing any super in the game by sliding, shooting, and shoulder charging. Or you could not use a shotgun at all and just put on the peregrine greaves and one shot everything by jumping and then shoulder charging. That's the exotic perk, it's called the knee of justice. Now we're getting into the meat of the video. What you want to do is equip a quick charge fusion rifle, I recommend the split shifter or the frenzy. You kinda gotta get lucky for these. Perun's fire and the vortex and the long far gone might also work. Now I'm not going to lie, this will take practice, you're going to have to train your brain to do this correctly. So the first thing you want to do is sprint to prime the shoulder charge. You can hug a wall if you want to, it'll still work. 
So you prime your shoulder charge, you hit the right trigger, and then almost simultaneously also the crouch button to slide. While sliding, keep your finger on that right trigger to charge the fusion, turn 90 degrees to the right or left to shoot your target, and then immediately slam the right bumper to shoulder charge. I don't know what control scheme you are, but I'm assuming you play standard. Don't be afraid of this, this is an advanced technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow this down with some annotations on the screen. The first thing you're going to do is sprint to prime shoulder charge. When you see the haze of the shoulder charge, hit the right trigger and then the crouch button almost simultaneously. Be sure to keep your finger on that trigger and look 90 degrees to the right or left, shoot your target, then slam the shoulder charge. What you do after this is you switch to a quick draw primary, like the first curse, and then destroy the stalactite or stalagmite. I, I don't know what the hell it is. So here is what the finished product looks like in PvP. Trust me, it was worth all the training for this. I'm gonna play that back again in slow motion. To say the least, this guy was not prepared for a shoulder charge to come out of that fusion barrage. Now I don't expect the fusion to kill them every time, so this is why you have a quick draw primary. The first curse actually does this job pretty good, but any hand cannon with quick draw, or even multi-tool with quick draw, will get the job done. So like I was saying earlier, it's not so fun to be on the receiving end of this. In fact, it's quite scary. Take a look at this clip. So basically what this clip is showing you is that you're only exposed for 1.7 seconds. Now we know the Doctrine can kill in about half that time, but the name of the game is evasiveness. If you can't hit your opponent, time to kill doesn't matter. Now here's a challenge for you. Name me one player that can react to this. Now to an average PvPer, it looks like I'm just really laggy when in fact I shoulder charge out of the frame just to clean up with the first curse. I probably got reported for bad connection a couple times, but if you like hate mail, perfect this technique and hate mail will flow with. Or you could just shade step like everyone else, but I think this looks a lot smoother when it's done correctly. Now at the end of the day, the key advantage to doing this is that you can fire the fusion rifle and shoulder charge into cover. What you're doing is essentially taking away all the weaknesses of a fusion rifle. You pre-charge before you see your opponent, you fire out all your damage, and then you swiftly shoulder charge into cover. You basically do a drive-by. Speaking of drive-by, remember how I said you could launch yourself with shoulder charge? Well take a look at this. If you slide off the edge of something, you can shoot, then shoulder charge, and immediately start skating. If you remember to do this in PvP, you'll be able to cover a lot of ground quickly and also look at your opponent while moving. That's right, you can skate sideways at the same speed that you can skate normally forward. I know it sounds difficult, but remember, if you graduated Titan High School, you should know this by now. Well, I hope that this new shoulder charge technique relieves just a little bit of boredom in the Crucible. If you like what I do here, then consider subscribing. I do this kind of thing a lot. And if you're a non-believer of this technique, I will find you in Rumble. Cue the montage.
Oh shit, it's a stalagmite.